Hi and welcome back to AWE 2023 in the USA. I'm here with Deng from Ant Reality and you are showing 120 degrees FOV AR lenses, right? Tell us more about your product. Yeah, we're showing the world's widest AR field of view in the whole industry, which is Crossfire. And we designed this new invented AR technology called Mixed Waveguide. Okay. That's right. It's yeah. okay. It's called Mixed Waveguide. So with this new technology, we will have very thin lenses together with a very wide field of view. Let's go through our demo okay. and I will tell you how good was the quality of the images okay. and how good was uh, how good was the how how wide was the field view? Yeah. So, uh, what kind of technology is this using? Uh, it's a new waveguide, so it's not regular waveguide. Um, conventional waveguide cannot reach such wide field view because the limit of the light engine. But this technology is uh, we call engine free, so there's no light engine to limit the field of view. That's why we can reach up to 100 degree field of view up to 120 degree field of view and just even for this single pieces we can reach 85 degree field of view that is even bigger than any other AR glasses existing in the market right. at the same time we can keep this less very thin type so that will help us to making AR this kind of glasses to be uh, just as a regular glasses form factors okay. that will make this into perfect uh, daily use AR glasses Okay. And we also have this kind of... Uh, Let me first look through it. Yeah. yeah I want to look through it. You have already looked through it, but I haven't looked through it yet. So let me check this out. Should I wear my glasses? Or just keep on doing it, right? Yeah. Keep it. Okay. Yeah, this is a... This indeed is a really nice and vibrant image. It's a very nice picture quality. And it does seem to be already bigger in FOV than what we see in the current uh, consumer headsets. Cool. Very cool. Next. And then, what, what is the... What is... Oh, this is even sharper. Oh, it is. And it has a very nice colors as well. Okay. Have you checked this one? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Super nice, super nice colors. And this will be the widest uh, field of view in the uh, AR mode. Okay. In the AR world, it will be 120 degree field of view, which will be one of the biggest field of view in the AR industry. Let's take a look through this lens. Okay. The wireless field of view. All right. Here we go. Oh, yes. And then we can this is really better than anything we've seen so far. Yeah, we can even cut cut the environment line is close up and you, it, it will back to VR so because this the field of view is big enough so it will be support VR as well in this way we can just make you make this new technology to be AR VR hybrid use case wow okay actually we had to do a cut now because the memory was full so we go from here so now I'm going to check out a reference model right tell me more about it it's a standalone AR glasses with 100 degree field of view and uh, the most special is that we have a very special dimming technology which will be bring you from the AR to VR and back you to the real world. Okay, so cool. let's take a look. Okay, please hold this and tell me more. Let's give about it a try. So if you want to put these on, these are going to be uh, another Type C lens. So they're also going to be capable of both AR and VR. This particular model is going to be okay. 1K per eye, 100 degree right. field of view. What you're yes, seeing you right now. Call. What you're seeing right now is a mock-up desktop that's going to be showing you 33% uh, light pass-through. Now that's our AR mode. Our VR mode oh, wow. okay. utilizes a mechanical dimming solution, right. so, yeah. which is just a rotating polarizer. This worked really well. So before I could still see you, now, um, now I see just VR. This is currently the darkest VR in the world at 0.002% light pass-through. So it's a full 100% darker than our best liquid crystal solution. Wow. I see absolutely nothing other than VR. Okay, now I turn off. Oh, no. Oh, no. So today how, we have it on a little that? remote. I see. Okay. In the future, depending on what it's built around, it'll be fully selectable wow. or even autonomous. This is really cool. So now um, um, he has um, opened it again with, uh, with a remote control. And now I can I can see you again. We just got a little preview right there. And a preview right there. Okay, like in AR mode. Okay, this is pretty impressive. So this is um, um, how many degrees FOV? One hundred degree field of view. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is uh, even 
are bigger than any other uh, pancake solutions in the world. So this will be perfect uh, substitute to pancake together with video see through to be the best uh, solution choice for the ARVR hybrid use case. Okay, wow. So um, yeah, when when do we get this type of glasses? When is it going to be in a headset? It, lo it looks, you know, it looks like ready, ready to go. It feels, it feels, yeah, better than, um, yeah, better than uh, um, products that are on the market right now. So when? <laughs> okay, so uh, this. The magic gonna okay, so this is uh, is for ARVR hybrid use case. But you know, uh, before this uh, new technology is invented, uh, if we want to make ARVR hybrid together, we could use a pancake solution together with the video see through, just like uh, Meta are doing with MetaQuest Pro and MetaQuest Three, and also maybe next week by Apple. We'll announce a new product that we'll also using uh, Pancake and Video See Through to make uh, AR VR together. But these new technologies will give uh, new possibilities for us to do optical see through way for AR VR together. So, this new technology will have a big chance to be the next generation AR VR hybrid product, but it still have a ways to uh, working with the manufacturer. Uh, to make them to convince these new technologies existing. That's why I'm here to show everybody these new technologies. And if everybody love it, I, I believe it will be very quick for us to have this product to be the next generation ARVR consumer level product. Okay, I'm sure that Nreal and no, Xreal, sorry, and Rokit and all the others are watching Maybe. this. I guess. <laughs> watching this video. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, MRTV thumbs up. This is a real cool technology. And wow, I'm, I'm happy to. I'm happy that you showed it to us. Thank you much. Yeah, cool. Especially that you can also like shut off, shut off the the real the real. You can throw the, the lenses to. Yeah. To the What's feature. fun is since it's a mechanical feature, it's not dependent on the data feed. So you yeah, can cool. right now they're turning black and right. blocking out the light. Wow, the light blocking. So, um, the light blocking the technology. The sunglasses you'll ever own. Yeah. Okay. And the the form factor is okay. It's it's not. It's pretty good, actually. That's handmade. Okay, That's how does it look? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. This was a this was a great ending here for AWE for this day. Thank you so much, Deng, uh, Hangang Thank you. And um, yeah, super nice. Um, wow, and VR, a big and VR, right? This is and reality. <laughs> okay, and, re and reality. And yeah, previously, we were called NVR. You ah, got it <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, and now you're and reality. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. So thank you so much for showing this off. Um, do let us know in the comment section what are your th thoughts about it. Give it a th thumbs up. And uh, how can people get, uh, get more info about you? Do you have a website or how, yeah, what's the we best? We have a website. Just antireality.com. Yeah. Antireality.com makes sense. Looking forward to see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.